Hello. Today we will be sublimating um, waffle weave dish towels. So I did a few already of getting ready for the holidays. So I just did some fall ones. Cute. And now I'm going to do some Halloween ones. So what I like to do, um, I find the nicest side. Oops, let's call this the nicest side. And I fold it in half so that I have a seam down the center that I know is the middle. Because when people use this on their, um, like if they put it over their, the handle of their stove, they, they turn it in threes. So it goes, Oops, can you see it? They fold it, they go one, two, and then it's in the center, three. So this is how they hang it on their stoves. So I put it right in the center. Um, I have done full cover ones. Um, when you, here, I'll show you one. This is the entire, let me move back. This is the entire one. And I had to do it in two presses, um, but it doesn't fold nicely. It kind of folds like that. So, but that was kind of a mess up. But what I found with that one, if you do go to the edges, use a pressing pillow because these seams will throw you, will, will create um, white spaces. So you have to use a pressing pillow if you go all the way to the edge. So I just line this up. I lint roll. And I just, I'm just gonna press it for about three seconds because I want that seam, but then I'm gonna flip it over. So this is actually pre-pressing and giving us the seam at the same time. Okay, just for a second. Give it a flip. And do it again. Okay, so that was my pre press. And oh, I forgot to lint roll this side, didn't I? I, well, it looks okay. Sorry, I meant to lint roll that side. So now, um, I guess I'll do it up here for you because I don't really want to move the camera. It's actually not that difficult. But what I would normally do is lay it on the floor on my board, if you've seen my videos before. But this one actually will not be that bad because I know exactly where the center is. And the whole thing fits on here, so. Okay, so can you see that seam right there? Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna do Halloween. I measure, I measure, measure three inches up. That's where I like mine to fall. Um, take into account for some white space down here. And I'm just gonna center it. So there's a couple of ways you can center this. Um, I know that this ear is the center and I just know that because I made this. But you can fold it in half and it will not affect your print, um, but I don't do that, but you can. Right there. Okay, so he is where I want him. I'm gonna take my heat tape. that on okay so he it's right where I want put my cover sheet on top which I'm using parchment paper for and I'm pressing at 385 for 55 seconds.
so while I'm doing, while this is pressing, um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I use a sub paper, I use Cobra inks, and I use an Epson 7720. I like to print on 11 by 17 paper. It gives me a lot more options and I can print four up of whatever I might be doing, even six sometimes. Um, and I can print up because my press is 15. So if I had eight and a half by 11, I'd never utilize my entire press. So this way I'm able to do full, um, full images like this all the way across and I don't have to do two presses with it. So um, I can print all the way to 15, actually 14.8. I like to give it a little bit. Um, and then, okay, so we're about 10 seconds from pulling this off and you can see what they look like. Okay, so with waffle weave, they get smushed down. I'm gonna turn that off. They get, the waffle of it gets smushed down. Here, can you see it? Whoops, hot. I'm just gonna peel that off. And spooky. So it's, the waffle is all pushed down. So what I do is I, and I do this with shirts too, to get rid of the press marks. And I even give it a little bit of a tug and it will decrease the press marks if you have any. Basically, I do this until it's cooled off. And then give it a flip, give it a flip, and it's ready to sell. Dunzo. So here, Get the other ones. Here are, and I just did this one too, some waffle weave towels. And I hope that helps. So uh, ask me any questions, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next video.